Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Robert back in here with us this morning, and this is his second visit here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. He came all the way down here from Chicago and kind of is choosing us as a last resort before he resorts to getting back surgery. Um, and he got his first adjustment yesterday and I asked him how he felt this morning. He said he felt like he'd been run over by a truck. That's how <laughs> I first felt when I first got the ring dinger done too. But uh, tell, tell him what you felt last night. Oh, it's, uh, I can't even explain it. The, the ring dinger I thought would be way worse than what it was, but I've got that area in my back and it just felt like when you got that elbow into it and every time it popped up, I mean, it's just like someone kicked me, stepped on me, rolled over mm -hmm. me. All right, so I'm gonna do that again today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it a different order today though. Okay. okay, let's have you close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me. Yeah, and you know, we always tell our patients, and Robert knows this from my very first consultation that I was doing with him during his history, we do not ever guarantee results. There is no way that you can guarantee results on anything. If a doctor ever guarantees you results, I don't care if it's an MD or chiropractor or PT or whoever, you need to run out of their office because there are no guarantees when you're treating the spine. And, and also, Robert, would you mind, you got in to see us by filling out a new patient request form, right? Uh, and the email is off our website? Yes. Yes. Okay. So there's been a lot of confusion for a lot of people trying to get in here that they're filling out contact forms and, and Facebooking us. We do not schedule appointments off of Facebook. Now, Robert sent all his medical records via email to us even before he came here and I reviewed all those and he wanted to know if I could help him. Well, I told Renee to, to tell him back that you know, we see patients with degenerative disc disease, herniated disc, and facet arthrosis every day here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief, but there are no guarantees. I can't promise him that I'm gonna help him. But all I can do is I can promise you I'll do everything in my power to adjust the spine properly and get that person functioning at a higher level of function, but there are no guarantees. So, and, and also, you know, Renee answering the phone, if you're calling us on the phone, Renee answers the phone, please don't tell her you've been trying to get in here for two weeks and then blah, blah, blah. You know, we don't have time for that. That's why we take new patient request forms off of our website. And you got in pretty quick, didn't you? I did. I actually would have been in a little bit earlier, but unfortunately the, the waters and everything yeah. slowed it down. Yeah, so. the flood waters yeah. receded finally. Mm -hmm. So this is his second follow-up treatment, and we hope that you all fill out a new patient request form on our website, advancedhoustonchiropractor.com, and that's the fastest way to get an appointment here. So, all right, Robert, I'm gonna have you come over here on your tummy first, and I know this is not your favorite at this point, but I'm gonna have you get on your knees and put your face all the way up in here. Now he's got a significant, right here, right here yep. vertebral subluxation complex right at T11, 12, L1. Let this just sink. Kind of let your spine sink in there. Oh! There we go. Oh. Sorry. Yep. Okay, now let's come over here on this table. <laughs> All right. He's got what's called muscle splinting, muscle spasm in his lower thoracic spine. And that's why that adjustment is pretty painful on him. Because I'm right on that thoracolumbar spine. Suck it up just a second, Robert. I didn't get bigger, Slide, Robert, slide down just a little bit. No, you didn't get bigger. I just didn't want you to get away. There we go. Oh. Okay. You're not going to get away now, are you? No chance. <laughs> okay, let your legs bend and relax naturally. You know, it's very normal to be sore after your first adjustment or even first couple of adjustments because the muscles and ligaments are having to work out differently to hold your spine in a differently biomechanical position. Okay, keep your teeth together. There you go. Exhale. Yes, sir. Home run. 
I know you felt that one right down there in that spot. Oh, yeah. He's still kicking. He's good. And I don't do that to see if they're still alive. I know they're still alive. I haven't got any heads on my truck as well yet. I won't start with Robert. I just do that for fun. And also to show the difference before and after reflexes too. We see usually a substantial increase uh, in the reflex, not hyperreflexia, which is pathological, but an increased reflex which shows better nerve supply. Okay, my friend, let's lay on you tell me for me now. So the standard answer you're going to get whenever you call or email us is, can Dr. Johnson help me? Have no idea. We have to treat people a few times before we know the answer to that question. Okay, just breathe normal for me, Robert. I'm adjusting his SI joints first. You just keep breathing. Try not to buck on me. Okay. See, he's guarding a lot because of how that severe that pain oh, is yeah. in his lower thoracic there. That left leg's still coming up short. My job as a chiropractor is to detect and correct vertebral subluxations or biomechanical improprieties of the spine, pelvis, and, and extremities, which helps the body maintain more of a homeostasis, which is a state of health, rather than a state of dis-ease, that's D-I-S slash ease. Not disease, we don't treat disease, we treat subluxations. There. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, let's turn you on your back now. Oh, hang on a second, I gotta get my elbow in there. Keep breathing, I know this is sore. You wanna try to breathe through this. That's not quite as bad as it was yesterday. It's not hurt me a bit. I'm putting pretty much the full weight of my 230 pounds into my right elbow in his paraspinal musculature. Now he's got a kidney stone in his left kidney which could be creating some of this pain down here in this lower thoracic upper lumbar spine from a visceral somatic reflex. But his renal physician MD says that's not what's causing you pain, didn't he, Robert? That's what he said. I don't know that I agree with that 100% at this point. This right side's not as bad, but that's still pretty tight right there. Oh, yeah. Yep, keep breathing. This is not a massage. This is really deep, deep tissue work. I'm sure Robert can verify that. There we go, okay. Now let's just turn on your back, please, sir. And I recommend to Robert that he goes home at, or go back to the hotel right after this and put crushed ice in a freezer baggie directly on the skin over whatever's hurting whether that's his neck or his lower thoracic or low back. And you did that last night, right? Oh, many, many times in this and morning. And it did help though, right? Oh. 
there. Okay, now let's have you put your arms straight out to the sides, palms facing up. Now you can see that he's still in significant distress just laying there on his back because that lower thoracic is so much in spasm right now. There we go. Okay. And just relax your hands on you. Tell me for a second. Mm -hmm. oh. There we go. Now, do you feel that all the way up into that same lower thoracic area? Oh, yeah. Or is it just in your lower back? Oh, it's there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Super. <laughs> okay. I said you have face towards your name. Oh. It's still in place of town. You can get beat up, feel better, pay for it. It's still legal. Uh. It's easier said than done when you're hurting so bad, huh? Yeah. There. Okay. A lot of you showed a lot of interest in Robert's video overnight. There we go. I know you got him in your prayers oh. for healing, so do we. Okay, we're going to have you close your eyes again and bend your head forward and backwards again. Yep, take a look. That's better than it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Let's pull your shoulders up and back. Flare your hands backwards, palms forward. No, nope, palms forward. See, that tightens up that whole trap. Mm -hmm. And then we bring, no, you're tilting your head backwards first. See, bring it straight back first and then look back at the wall. Adjusting his atlas on the x-axis here, which will send proprioceptive neurological bombardment into his cerebellum. Cerebellum controls balance, posture, coordination, kinesthetic movement, and I'm relaxed. I'm going to stretch this forward now, Robert. And I'm going to bounce your muscle spindles here. Okay, now. Relax that and try that again. Tell me if this feels any smoother to you than the previous one did. Oh, it's a sure look better. Absolutely smoother. Yep, take a look in the mirror now. See your pelvis is right down the middle right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. So how do you feel right now compared to when you walk through the doors? I, as bad as it sounded, I feel better. Mm-hmm. You know, I know okay. how bad it's it sounds. It's one of those hurt so, so yeah, good things, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And then go back and well, we're just going to keep adjusting his spine for the subluxations that he has. Now, he brought all his diagnostics and medical records down here, so that's why I feel comfortable in doing all these things to him. Uh, if you're coming from out of state or out of the country, you have to bring your diagnostic studies here, or I won't treat you. Or we'll send you out here in Houston to get them done. Because they're very important in severe cases like Robert's, that we see what diagnostics have been done, medical records to make uh, clinical decisions about what we're going to do chiropractically to help him or to try to help him. And again, there are no guarantees in life, especially with spines and nervous systems involved. So don't expect us to guarantee that we're going to help you because we won't. This is your Houston chiropractor from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas with Robert. We'll see y'all soon.